going to do a quick video on these portable chargers because I think this to me is a freaking steal. When I worked in merchandise at Hollywood Studios, we used iPhones and to, to do floor stock, to refill everything. And we were on those phones all day. We would burn through those phones pretty fast. Um, and it would take too long to charge them. So we had one of these portable charging stations. So one of the coordinators would go over there, get one of these fuel rods, and we would just use these. And when we were burning through the fuel rods, we would just swap them out for a free one. So now, <clears throat> instead of bringing fuel rods to the parks, I just purchased one of these and I just keep swapping them out. So here's how it works. You pay $30. Um, you come here to the machine and I can tell you there's at least three, four machines in every single park. They're in every resort. They're at Disney Springs. They're everywhere. Um, so you're never going to be without. So what you do is you come in, you pay $30 and you hit buy. And what it's going to do, it's going to give you the fuel rod with the charging cable. And it's got three adapters depending on your phone charging um, type, Apple, Android, USB-C, whatever it happens to be. Um, you go through that fuel rod. Once you're done, you're going to find one of these machines. You're going to come back over here, and it should say swap. I don't know if you can see that. You hit swap. Then it's going to tell you to put the fuel rod inside the machine, so you're going to put it in there. And then it's going to spit you out a new one for free. There is not a limit and there's no daily limit to how many of these you can get. So if you take it home with you and charge it overnight, that's fine. You don't even have to. Because once you go back to the park the next morning and your phone's starting to run low, just take that fuel rod, find a machine, and swap it out for a new one. Somebody forgot to charge their phone the night before, give them your fuel rod. It doesn't matter. Because once they go through it and burn through it, you can walk over to Pirates of the Caribbean, pop that baby in there, and get you one. And then you can just use that. So $30, this will go through the whole trip, and you only have to pay $30 one time. Plus, you have all these adapters for your phone. You can take this home with you um, when you do your final swap and just use it as a regular fuel rod. Um, on some of these portable chargers, there might be an old leftover sticker that says $3 swap. Um, Disney did implement a $3 swap fee a long time ago. I think it was back in 2019. Um, they took a lot of flack for that, so they did take that down, so now they just swap them out for free. So if you see that swappable $3 charge, you can just ignore it. Um, they should be all gone, um, but these are completely and totally free. So you can leave your fuel rods at home, because I can tell you with the Disney Experience app, you are going to burn through your phone battery quickly. Um, mobile ordering, mobile purchases in the souvenir stores, um, waiting in line, playing heads up on your phone while you pass the time, um, posting stuff on base, Facebook, doing videos of parades, taking pictures. You're going to burn through your phone so fast. Um, it's not, it, it to me, $30 is a freaking steal just to get one of these fuel rods with all those phone adapters. And you only have to get one because you've got the adapters and it doesn't matter if your buddy has an Android and you have Apple, you've got the adapters, let them burn through your rod, swap it out and get you one. So, um, I just wanted to throw this out there because I use it. I go home. It's dead. I don't even bother charging it because when I go back, I'm just going to throw it in a machine and get me a new one. They're great.